Hi, everybody. Good morning. Um, my name is Rachel Moore. I know a lot of you, a lot of you I don't. I'm going to try very hard not to be distracted with my three grandchildren in here, <laughs> which one of them being two. <laughs> so anyways, um, I just wanted to also like let you guys know that Erica is healing very well. And um, for the newcomers that may not know, um, Pastor Erica had a partial um, hysterectomy, and all of it came back cancer-free. So I just wanted to give you that update as well. Um, I wanted to start off just by thanking Asbury for letting me be here. Um, they, you guys, I, I don't know how many of y'all know that um, Doorway to Hope, um, the church has allowed me to have an office here in the church as, I was, as I'm getting started. And I'm going to kind of share some of my hopes for Doorway to Hope <laughs> um, and where the church is just, you guys have always blessed me in helping other people. Like, just let me come in and share my passions and uh, what I was do what I'm doing in the community, and so I just want to tell you, thank you so much. Um, it has been a huge burden off of me trying to figure out where where to get started at. Doorway to Hope has received its 501c3. It's actually a nonprofit to help women and with children. But before we get to the place that we are going to be able to help women and women with their children. Um, we, I'm getting back just in the community and trying to build those bridges between churches, agencies, businesses, and our, just our community, that we would build true relationships with people that are seeking us for help, that we would really get to know each other and see where, because I, I believe the helper and the, the one seeking help, we all learn and do so much for each other in that. There's not a, you know what I'm saying? There, there's not a, we have more than someone else or they have more than, we, we are all in this learning together. And some of us are in different places in life. I mean, I'll tell you this last year was absolutely horrible in my world. And if it wasn't for the support that I have, I, I don't know what would happen. And I have a an amazing foundation with Jesus Christ. I know him. I know that he saves me for my health daily. I know every bad situation, he uses it to bless me and others because it's all for his glory, right? So I, I know those things. I have that foundation, but not everybody does. And not everybody, and we all need to be reminded, <laughs> don't you think, at some point? So, um, that's kind of where Doorway to Hope, if you want to know more, because we're very, very new, it, it, right now um, there's going to be opportunity for people to step in and volunteer wherever they would like. But right now we're just trying to, I know a lot of gaps in services for women and women with their children. A lot of services separate women and their children. They don't help them together as a whole. And I don't want to do that. I want to build relationship with them and help them and their children become healthy together. So that's a big aspect. But for right now, we're finding out who is really building those relationships to go into a deeper place of serving one another. So building those bridges in the community. If that's not really clear, um, please just ask me questions. I'm here now more at the, the office is right there by the sound room. Anytime you're here and you want to talk, just stop by. We'll talk. Okay, so um, when Pastor Erica asked me to share what I um, saw in the promised land, what did it mean to me, and what did it mean to me to show the promised land through Doorway to Hope. And I started just really seeking out, like just learning more about Martha Luther King Jr. Plus, our women, if you're not plugged in, um, I'm going to plug this in there too. On Thursday mornings, we meet here at 930. And um, please, if you're not doing anything, come join us. 
Um, we, I'm not real, haven't been able consistent, but where I have been, it has just really helped me this last year. Even if I just got the book and I was able to read the book and, and hear what was shared. So if you want to get plugged in, you don't have anything to do, come and, come and be with us. So we talked about Martha Luther King Jr. in our time last Thursday, I believe it was last Thursday. No, it's the Thursday before. And um, I was just listening. I even thought like I was born during that time. And I had to, as everybody was sharing, I was like, no, I'm sorry, I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> but it, his, his legacy that he has left was still so prominent to me as growing up. Like there were times when I was in school, people fighting or rejoicing in the legacy that he had left. And so as I was praying, like what, what am I going to share with you guys, not only to introduce Doorway to Hope to you, but what did I get out of this time with Martha Luther King Jr. and just reading things about him? And then, of course, we heard so many videos and we've heard media, just all of these different things. And where I could see Doorway to Hope and um, the promised land, per se, coming together for me was the legacy that he left. And that's what I want with Doorway to Hope. That's what I want in my life. And everything that I do, you know, as you get older, you kind of realize, I know at, when I was young and I was a punk and I wasn't really living my life for the Lord, I just really thought my life was my own. Like it didn't really affect other people. And then you kind of wake up one day and see how what you do and what you don't do affects the people around and so my, my thinking as I started to mature, not only as a woman, but mature as a woman that loves Jesus, I want to leave a legacy. I want to leave a different legacy. He, we are still in all of the legacy that he left. And to me, that's the promised land. I mean, we could go so many different ways with the promised land. Yes, heaven. Yes, Jesus. Yes, what, all of that. So what does it mean today to me? Today it means leaving that legacy. And that's loving people for who they are and who they're not. It's about just where I can serve, and that's where the scripture came in. And I, I'm sorry, I thought the scripture was going to be read, but I'm not a pastor, by the way. I'm <laughs> very much just a... Uh, a woman on fire for the Lord. So bear with me. Um, I have the, I, oh, it's right here in front of me. For, no. oh, you, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Our scripture reading is Romans 12, verses 4 through 8. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not have all the same functions, so in Christ we Though many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophecy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Thank you. So when I was kind of putting this together and I was looking at different quotes that um, Martha Luther King Jr. had said, and there were so many of them, the one that stood out to me as knowing what I got out of him, what, what I heard over and over and over was the legacy. He was wanting to bring unity, peace. He wanted us all to, you know, see that we are equal, that we, we no matter what, we all came from the same God. That, that is what I heard him sharing over and over and over. We are from the same God. 
and in that he wanted unity, he wanted peace, he wanted, you know, them not to be tortured anymore. He wanted all of these things. He wanted equal rights. But he, you know, when I was looking at the videos, there was all nationalities, all, all types of people around him, they're good and bad, but the ones that were standing with him in unity were of all different color and nationalities, denominations, and I, that just was like, yes, that is what God has placed on my heart forever, is to bring denominations, agencies, people together to see that we, we are all made from the same God and we all have something valuable to offer. And that's where the quote, he, said, he says, if I, if I cannot do great things, I can do small things great. And I thought, wow, we, we think it has to be so big. Just if, and we have to say like at different ages, well, I'm not old enough to do that. Well, I'm too old to do that. We, we do this. And he says, just do the small things great. We have a purpose until Jesus comes and gets us. So what is our purpose? And when I was thinking about that, I'm like, well, some people don't even know their purpose. Well, ask the people around you that love you and know you the best. I bet they tell you some things you're really, really good at. And then I started to seek that out, and that's where the scripture came. And I think that that's where it comes out, that we all have a gift to share with someone else. And in that gift, we can leave a legacy that may change someone's life forever. I mean, it can have such an impact on them that they want to know Jesus through us. They may not know him. They may, not even, they may know of him and do not even want us to talk about him around us. But we, he, we have the opportunity to show him through just our actions. And I think those would be just those small things that we do. And so I was just like, that's what Doorway to Hope, that's what Martha Luther King Jr., and I think that's what we want to do as people. And so I, um, I started to just, just pray for us on that, just pray for my heart, just pray for who I want to be and who... Who comes our way? Who comes my way, Lord? I'm praying today and, and more, just more diligent in that, that don't let me miss who comes in front of me today that I could just love, that I could just serve, that I could just serve, I, I could show, show joy, give hope to. And what if that's just enough? Maybe it's not this big, huge, grand thing. Maybe that is what we're seeking through. It's just knowing that our lives matter. So um, I hope that makes sense. I'm nervous. I'm, I know I'm kind of rambling. Um, but I just wanted you to know that this scripture, I pray that you seek it out for yourself. I pray that you start to pray what does that look like over your life and where you're at now in your journey that you see that your life matters and your life brings hope to someone else. Think about your legacy. I, I look at Bonnie on, and I'm just looking at her and I'm going, what a legacy. Each one of you that I know and I've heard your story or gotten to do Bible studies with, and I look at Nancy, she loves children. She's just kind of taking them in, you know, just to see the legacy that you guys are leaving, and it touches my heart. I cry up here every time because I'm so humbled by Asbury, the example that Asbury has been to me and to people that we have served together with or that I've watched you serve at cross lines or wherever here in this church. I'm in that office, and I hear you guys talk. I hear you on Wednesday nights eating a meal together, and it touches my heart. And so that is leaving a legacy that you didn't even know that there was this girl here <laughs> in her office that you allowed her to be that, was, that has a broken heart for what happened this year and the joy and the hope that you guys have brought me in that. Just listening, that is a legacy. That is something simple that I just hope we don't miss those opportunities 
and think that they're not big enough. So go through Romans 12, 4 through 8, and see where your place is with the Lord, where he delights in you, he prays for you, he, he, he looks down at you and says, these are my children, and I love them, I delight in them. I hope you know that. I hope you truly, truly know that. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of close with that and find my next spot, so bear with me. I want to pray for us first. I think I pray for us that we rejoice in him, rejoice in our past, regardless of what that looks like, rejoice where we're at today as we've been laying a legacy here and there throughout our journey of life. And I just pray, Father, I just pray that we rejoice in you, knowing that you look down on us and you find delight in us. Father, I just pray that each person here doesn't look at their life and think, what did I do? I pray that they see that they have left a legacy, that they have the opportunity just to continue to leave a legacy through their journey and how we handle life, Lord, and how we just continue to seek you to grow, grow into being the people that you have designed us to be, that you have died for us to be, and that you just uh, keep pouring your life daily into us. I just thank you, Jesus. I thank you so much for loving us, for who we are and who we're not, but yet just to continue to keep moving us closer to you. And I just thank you, Lord, for all these things, and it's in your name we pray together. Amen. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the Lord's Supper.